Now, now you can edit this, right? Uh, I can, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can cut out all the bad parts. Awesome. Don't worry. <laughs> this is going to be a lot. <laughs> Trust me. I've had my fair share. Um, Make that big boss less special. It ain't no game, but they say I'm welcome to the second level. Welcome back to Wizard World uh, St. Louis. This is day three. Uh, we're getting tired, but today we're going around and talking to a bunch of artists uh, in Artist Alley. And we have with us uh, right now the wonderful Mr. Jim Ferguson of Making a Scene. And um, first of all, let me just say, this table is amazing. Thanks. Um, it, when I was walking around the other day, we went through like uh, just a brief run through to see like what mm. was where, and this one was the one that stood out. I tell you what it was. I was walking by and I saw uh, Tom Hanks with Zoltar yeah. up there, and I was like, "Huh, this is a little different." And then I knew I would come back here at some point. My wife was here yesterday, and she bought the little uh, the little caterpillar dude from yeah. Labyrinth, um, and I had to come back today and buy half of your stuff. So <laughs> that being said. What on earth inspires you to come up with so many kind of wonderful prints here? That we uh, well, uh, my background uh, was art. I went to school for art. Okay. Took, took art in high school and college and then uh, quit. And um, What made you quit? Well, I got a really cool job. Okay. So um, I did that for a long time and then was just sitting down one night and I was like, I would really like to draw again. I haven't drawn in forever. How long so, was the distance between those two things? Between like leaving your job and then being like, okay, I kind of want to draw again. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, I, so I started drawing the movie scenes in uh, 2012. I picked up drawing again in about late 2011. Okay. And I quit my job in uh, 2014 wow, to do so this full time. A couple of years and then you were like, oh, hell, I can actually make money years. from this. It yeah. was actually less than... It was like a year and uh, three months. So what's the major difference between being in like an actual, because like, you said you enjoyed the job, right? I yeah, it was you an awesome was, job. Unless you want to say. Uh, I was a video engineer at NASA. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's a pretty dope job. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. So what, do you, what are the, would you say the major differences between doing something like that versus being like a full-time artist? Because clearly you're successful. So yeah. like... What, what would you say are the major noticeable differences between those two lifestyles? Well, uh, number one, uh, you have to want to work. <laughs> right. Because you're not going to get paid unless if you uh, start drawing uh, yeah. work. So it's like, for example, in the, this year I've already been to, uh, so I'm, I'm out of Houston. Okay. Um, so I've already been to Dallas, uh, New Jersey, Portland, uh, New Orleans, St. Louis, just this year. All over the shop. And I drive everywhere. Oh, wow. So, uh, you know, How do you fiddle this in your car? Well, I have a little tiny Honda Fit, and I, <laughs> I managed to do it. Tetris. So it's Tetris a, is the way I put it. I am a Tetris champion. <laughs> there you go. 1984. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. That's okay. So don't, look, don't, <laughs> don't look that up. But it took you a while to remember your age before. So we're yes. really, um, So as far as like uh, what we're dealing with here, clearly this is a nostalgia fest for a lot of people. Yes. What we're dealing with is specifically people's emotions here. You have, uh, we'll, we'll have some B-shots here, but you have uh, things from people's most treasured movies from their childhood and TV shows as well. And also some newer stuff as well. So what do you prefer drawing? The stuff from your childhood or the newer kind of cooler things? Well, I, I like drawing the older stuff, okay. but... Um, uh, obviously, I mean, I have some iconic movie scenes, but I prefer to do the ones where you have to be a true fan of that movie right. to know what it is. Right, right. I mean, not like, oh, like, so for example, one of the very first ones I drew, a guy was like, draw me some Fight Club. So I was like, all right, well, uh, so I uh, ended up drawing like the cigarette burns. I don't okay. know if you know, but so it's the From back Marla, of Marla, right? No, no, it's uh, yep. when Brad Pitt said he took a job as a oh, projectionist, right, 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 right. and he was like, he looks for the cues, and he's like, this is called a cigarette burn. Gotcha. So all you see is the back of them, gotcha. and he's pointing to the little cigarette. Gotcha. So yeah, yeah. you actually have to have watched Fight Club and know about Fight Club. I noticed the ending recognize. of Fight Club you had over there, where they're both yeah. overlooking the. the yeah, that one's a deck. little bit easier more, to remember. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. I do recall the cigarette. Now you mentioned it, but yeah. for a whim, I probably wouldn't have got it. I did notice you had one for City of Lost Children in right. there, which I'm a big John Pierre Junot fan right, and those right. guys. And uh, so that that blew my mind a little bit to see that in the mixture here. Because see, um, yeah, also it's like I'm not looking for it's like, hey, what can I draw where I'm going to sell a billion of these prints? Right, they're just I'm genuine looking labels for that of love. One person who's going to be like, holy crap! <laughs> I can't believe you have Simon and Simon artwork. <laughs> 
you know, it's like <laughs> that was canceled in like 1988, right? 89. I, I, I defer to you on that. <laughs> We've discovered you're you're way smarter than me when it comes to that. Uh, and you have some books as well. So you uh, yeah. you had uh, so a couple successful kickstarters. Yeah, uh, I had uh, four successful kickstarters. I did uh, books every year. Not a lot of people can year. say that, man. Not a lot of uh, people can say that. Uh, those are rough. Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm not doing one this year. Okay. I, mean, I, I have four years of books. I would like to keep doing them, but um, my wife says if I bring any more books home. <laughs> you have like a, gar- a garage full of books. have a garage books. full there of books. You, yeah. uh, you ever watch uh, Family Guy? Uh, yes. Yeah. So you know Brian uh, oh, at, yeah, yeah. at the, the speed of love or whatever? The, yes, I do. So and he has like a billion that's books. Well, s- similar principle. my garage. I have a... <laughs> garage full of books that are taking forever to sell but <laughs> so I was, i've got to ask and this is something we've asked most people here artist wise which is your favorite and why Ooh, sorry i know it's like picking uh, a baby for me uh, it changes a lot with like now if we're talking artwork or if we're talking movies it's totally I'll tell different. you what let's do both movie and artwork. all right my three most favorite movies okay conan the barbarian all right jaws good then aliens Oh man, we're right so, on. So I really two, like those. Two of your top three are uh, mine, and the other awesome. one would be the thing, right. which is what the, yeah. the one of the prints really I bought like from you earlier. Um, yeah, Jaws, Jaws top, uh, and Aliens probably second. Uh, and the thing, because the thing, and I'm getting off, off topic here, but we're nerding out. Let's do it. No such thing as the, off topic. Right. We're at a comic. The thing being one of the last horror movies to use almost entirely like animatronics and like life right, puppets right. And, and and that sort of stuff like after that everything started to get a little bit more CG. CGI and so the thing was like the, to me anyway the last great bastion of that style of effects it, which is why I think it's it like shines so well too. It's exactly like, like it's like so the you best still watch thing. it and you're like is that real <laughs> One of my best, uh, also off topic, one of my favorite uh, special effects scenes ever is uh, the transformation in uh, American Werewolf in London. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a it's classy like, one. Yeah. How the hell did you do that? Yeah, it looks so real. Yeah, I mean, those guys were, were incredible. And it's lovely that you've managed to capture so many of them in here. And I see, like, you have the good, the bad, and the ugly in here. You've got some Labyrinth in here, which is a classic, some Ghostbusters, uh, and then some of the, the lower tier stuff as well that's <laughs> like you have to be, like, boom, on it to know who it is. But Well, like thank you, you were asking, yeah. you were saying, uh, which ones are my favorite? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's it. It changes. Like, okay. usually as I finish one, I'm like, I'm happy. This is my favorite. Uh, well, either it's like God, this is awful, and I want to throw it away, or I'm like, this is this is, I love this one. Okay. So like, I just finished a uh, a Superman three one. Okay. Yeah, you don't see a lot of Superman no, three no, around, that's, but uh, yeah. I drew a picture from Superman three. Awesome. It might be the one I'm most proud of. Awesome. And then I just did. Uh, people were asking for Harry Potter for the last five years. Yeah, and I can I see that. Didn't I have any, that. so yeah. I was like. I was like, all right, I'll do some Harry Potter. So you, I finally did two Harry Potter The pictures. Weasleys are right here at yeah, WizCon yeah. somewhere, uh, uh, as far as I understand I wish I would it. have something with them in it. Right. But I don't. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, Harry Potter is a big one, especially because especially now they're branching off into other universes and things right, like that right. with Fantastic Beasts. But um, that's cool. So which is what scene is it from Superman 3, if you don't mind me asking? Superman at the bar. Okay. Draken. Just chilling. Yeah, earlier I, <laughs> earlier I had a whole drinking section over here. You had the dude at the bar. You had Han Solo in the cantina. You had uh, The Shining. Jack. Yeah. Uh, Jack and Lloyd. Jack and Lloyd. Awesome. And then uh, there was some other ones. Oh, uh, Norm. Norm and Cliff. Nice. And cheers. And then Superman having a drink. That's perfect. So. That would be a good collage, like yeah. a beer collage. Well, I, like, I wanted to do one like yeah. that yeah. with them all drinking. That's amazing. Um, I was so like, nobody's gonna buy it though. <laughs> no, trust me, they would. <laughs> they would. Um, so okay. So lastly, I guess um, obviously we would love to be able to help you promote this stuff because I, I think everybody needs to see it. So um, do you want to tell us like where people can find you if they want to look at your work? Well, uh, not to sound uh, snooty or nothing, but if uh, if you Google Jim Ferguson, okay, I'm the first Jim Ferguson that pops up. All right. <laughs> uh, there's two other Jim Fergusons. One makes knives, not me. Okay. Uh, one place classic base, also not me. Okay, no just, knives, no classic base. Yeah, but if you just Google Jim Ferguson, then they art's going to pop up. Uh, or you can just do go to jimfergusonart.com or jimfergusonmakingthescene.com. Awesome. Or Jim, basically, I bought anything that says Jim <laughs> Ferguson. Uh, I bought all the domains. So. That's a smart move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. uh, all right, well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really do appreciate it. And I have bought some of these, so my wife's going to kill me. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. No problem. Take it easy. You too.